At IAC 2025, AI is the talking point on everybody's mind. And today I'm joined by Diego from H Farm, who is also the AI track speaker here at ISE this year. Diego, it's great to be here with you. Tell me, everyone wants to know AI, what is the impact? What is it having on our technology space? So AI impact is huge. Um, we, we clearly see a lot of uh, opportunities for, for applying it uh, in specific in the educational part uh, where uh, H-Farm is an educational uh, hub, uh, 20 years of history, uh, also helping startups grow and collaborating with companies uh, on R&D projects uh, for, with emerging technologies uh, and we're seeing huge interest in AI clearly. Uh, also on uh, areas that where it is not obvious, uh, such as again audio video for example, uh, and in specific our partnership with uh, Cisco and Apple led us to pilot uh, a completely new technology for immersive meetings called the Cisco Special Meetings, where we see AI collaborating with XR, and so extended reality, to really bring a new kind of experience to joining a meeting remotely. So this is an example of the impact of AI that is invisible, and that we think that basically will expand to many other use cases across the board on many areas uh, and industries. I think collaboration is so important because at this trade show there's a lot of conversation about AI, primarily what is AI, how does it apply to our business. So from H Farm's perspective, how do you innovate, innovate and collaborate? Because I hear you have a good partnership with Cisco going on, right? Yes, correctly. As I said, uh, uh, we, we are uh, um, a campus, an educational campus, uh, where we also work with uh, uh, startups uh, and companies. Uh, the campus is completely enabled by Cisco devices uh, and uh, we use that to deliver hybrid, uh, our hybrid learning uh, uh, approach, let's say. And uh, uh, AI uh, is really having an impact, as I said, across the board, right? Uh, so we're seeing the most uh, interesting use cases being uh, the invisible ones, where uh, an AI can be uh, summarizing a meeting uh, after uh, I had a meeting or maybe uh, helping me catch up on a lecture where maybe I wasn't uh, uh, too uh, paying too much attention to, right? Uh, or maybe also helping me as a co-pilot, let's say, right? So uh, again, we see a lot of uh, space uh, in applying AI to collaboration. And uh, another, another interesting application, uh, always uh, talking about our Cisco, Cisco partnership, uh, is the usage of uh, AI voice agents. Uh, so voice uh, is a AI voice uh, is a technology that is uh, now spreading like wildfire, but really Cisco uh, embracing this uh, as well uh, makes uh, uh, a, uh, a lot of, a lot of, you know opens up a lot of opportunities let's say in specific also in internal usage of AI voice agents. So imagine for example an HR manager that actually doesn't have time to talk to every employee, but uh, you can put an AI voice and the employee can ask a random question to the AI and when the AI cannot answer, goes to the human, right? So this is the kind of uh, uh, applications uh, that we are seeing currently and that we are excited to explore also with Cisco. And coming from the world of education, you cannot put a price on learning, right? You were the AI track speaker here at ISE. Could you tell me a bit about the talks that you gave today? What were the highlights and what were you covering? Sure, so uh, our talk was in partnership with Cisco as well. So we were talking about uh, exactly Cisco special meetings, uh, that is this new technology that enables to join uh, remotely a meeting with a Vision Pro. And uh, on the other side, you just need a Roombar Pro from Cisco, that is a normal uh, device for connecting uh, uh, to, a, to a video meeting, let's say. And uh, with Vision Pro, you can see really in 3D what is happening. Uh, of course, uh, just you uh, wearing it remotely, you're wearing the Vision Pro and uh, basically experiencing the meeting in real time. Now, uh, this opens up uh, a set of, uh, let's say, applications uh, that are brand new. So, for example, in uh, manufacturing and construction, uh, 
many times uh, people were fabricating or building a component uh, or a fur or some furniture in one place and then they had to ship it uh, to the to the construction site now with this technology basically you don't need to do that you can have uh, let's say a video call even if it's not a video call to see how the furniture or the component uh, will look like uh, into the real world right because you're seeing it in 3d uh, now, apart from construction and manufacturing, there are a lot of uh, industries uh, that are touched by these technologies that, that is AI powered, such as, for example, healthcare. Uh, so, for example, instead of going to a doctor and uh, the doctor seeing you in 3D, the doctor could simply wear a Vision Pro and you can stand in front uh, a, a Cisco Roomba Pro and uh, basically be visited by a remote doctor, right? So, again, uh, there are like uh, huge applications. Uh, and also, when uh, during the, um, the talk, we talk about uh, voice, uh, voice uh, agents, uh, as we said. And finally, we also mentioned uh, um, something about discovering new, new use cases, uh, where we believe, uh, as an uh, educational hub, hub with more than 3,000 students, uh, that uh, the most interesting thing to do now, if you're a company, to understand how to use AI and in general uh, these new technologies such as Cisco Special Meetings is to involve the younger generation to work together with the uh, most seasoned, let's say, experts uh, to imagine possible, way, possible uh, new applications of this technology. And uh, these can really enable uh, uh, things that you've never imagined before. I look forward to seeing what those use cases are as you discover them. Diego, thank you so much for your time. Thank you very much.